Oh wait, no, my mic's working now. Okay, it didn't show up for a second. Uh, Minecraft. 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 <laughs> so guess what? I still haven't decided what to do with my house yet. So what I think I'm going to work on is, like, a little mining facility in the cave. I got an idea, I think. Of what I want to do. Oh my. That's a lot of sugar cane lying around. How did this all get here? Did I forget to pick this up? I saw three creepers over there. I do have a data pack now so that creepers don't destroy blocks. I could not figure out how to make them not spawn on land that although uh, apparently there's new custom world options uh, custom world generation options coming in 1.18.2 maybe I'll figure it out then I I do think I could make a data pack so that villagers don't die so, so that villagers can walk on this though which would be really nice, because they're really dumb and stupid. <laughs> Why don't you guys get out? I don't really have to do that. Now oh, you're probably going to die in the snow, though. May as well collect your meat while I can. Put hoppers under them <laughs> so that I always get their wheat. Oh wait, then they couldn't regrow. Oh, I could put hopper minecarts under the ground though. Alright, I'm... Sick of these chickens. Do I have a shovel? I don't think I've ever made a shovel. Oh, wait, no, I did have a shovel at one point, and I think it broke. to check something this is 111 so yeah I'm planning on making this whole valley flat to this level although I'm planning on tiling it so I'm gonna need a lot of granite and uh, diorite Dire it? You can be free for now, chickens. Alright, I got I got him in. What do you know? I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Walk this way. Come on. Come on, stupid. Come on. Alright, I guess not. <laughs> For some reason. But I remembered uh, what I was talking about with uh, Star Wars Rebels. 
the last time I streamed. What the fuck? <laughs> I turned into an adult. <laughs> I'll trap. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's just gonna clear some things up real quick. There are more adults in here, that means, though. Uh, so... <laughs> I was gonna bring up this... In, like, Season 3, they added a new villain. Uh, what is he? Grand Admiral Thrawn? <laughs> I just keep seeing this guy being like, hmm, I know exactly what the rebels are doing. And in retaliation, I will do nothing. I'm such a fucking genius. <laughs> it's just, he just does nothing the entire time. I know who this spy is. <laughs> this means I will do nothing. <laughs> Uh, land. Lab in. Alright, I'm gonna start collecting stuff. To get levels, actually. I really need to get levels. So I can venture out and begin work elsewhere. But I was thinking of putting, like, some buildings into the side here. And having, like, pipes go through. I just think it'd be cool to have, like, copper pipes. With a, you know, it's like acacia wood to match the copper color. Which means I need bees, which we do have around here. Smooth stuff. God damn, I need some more chests. That's, I think I really do need to start working on that just so I can put chests down there. Alright, I'll start with putting a building on, like, this landing here. Now, do I want... Do I want stairs going down to it? Or do I want to build it? I want stairs going down. Alright, uh... So stairs will go up like that there. The entrance will be around here. I'm gonna just dig that out too, because that's probably gonna be a wall there. I think this will be where storage is. And then I'll put like... an auto smelter somewhere. I mean, having the auto smelter down the mine makes sense because that's where I'll be gathering the most materials that go into the auto smelter. Didn't they fix something about Minecraft where, like, chests would break if they were pushed? But now you still can't push chess? I think that's kind of silly. Can you push shulk shulker boxes, though? With pistons? That'd be cool. Because shulker boxes, you can mine them and pick them up in your inventory, so they should be able to be moved. In my IMO. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and might connect with the building down there so I want to like put it in deeper just for extra expandability so 
So I'll put the chests. I'll dig like three more blocks in, I think, and then start placing chests. We could also expand it into rooms going that way, right? Yeah. One more. I don't have enough wood. Other than to make a crafting table. I will leave down here. So it's going to be like that. Put torches up on the walls. Just going to put this shit in here first. Oh, gray wall, I need that for the villagers. I'll hold that on to me for now. Still. Huh. So are they like right in here or are they under the stairs? Because that bottom part is going to be connected to the mine at some point. I do believe, I do believe. I do believe I'm gonna do that. Uh, give me emeralds. I'll get one emerald. And you want cool. You want iron too. I might be able to get enough for another diamond pickaxe. Yeah, I need... Oops, I got one too many. But now... I can get one of these. Oh, that's 28 normally, okay. But it's 26 now. Wait, did he give me a good deal because I just sold him stuff? So I swear that was 28 already. <laughs> I saved some money. Some money. Now the reason I want to disenchant this is because one, it will give me some experience. But also, it might give me some different enchantments here. Efficiency. Dang. Oops. It's not even as good of efficiency. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep this in here just as an enchant enchanter. Alright, I'm going to grab my wood out and then head back in there and start making some chests. I'm not going to move anything yet, but like, you know, now I have room to put stuff. Is what I'm thinking of, thinking of. I'll probably keep tools in my house though. Bunch of chests. A couple of them, ten. And you know, I should just make them all double chests. Uh, well, uh. Oh, 
Oaklog. Okie logi. What? <laughs> what was that? Okie logi. Jesus. Oh boy. I was just watching, uh, what's it called? Dark Viper AU play, uh, GTA Guesser with, uh, Charlie Critical. I think I need to try playing that sometime. Because I was actually getting a whole lot of those right. I think there were, like, three in the video that I didn't recognize. Of course, now I'm going to try it and completely <laughs> fucking fail. <laughs> but it would be fun, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, yesterday, I think it was, I, like, actually just found out that, like, tools can become so expensive that you can't repair them on the anvil and uh you know that was a shocking revelation to me so now i'm pretty sure that my like really good pickaxes in my uh smp i can still get plenty of stuff from or not plenty of stuff i'm pretty sure i can still repair them so i'm gonna work on getting uh mending added to them because holy crap it's actually very lucky that I found that mending pickaxe. Because now I can save my uh, really good pick forever. Whenever I get one, that is. <laughs> I got the enchantment I needed for my really good pick before I even had a really good pick. This is the way to get 64. 64 torches. So I gotta light that up. It's all dark and dim. Alright, my XP farm. I can set that up. You gotta, gotta jump to get this one. And some more lapis. Ooh, and it led to some iron. God damn it, I'm doing it again. Stop it. Stop it. What are you thinking? Are you crazy? What are you thinking? I need to find that dungeon, but it's like right around here, I think. It's right near running water, so, you know, I'm getting close. <laughs> oh no! I'm glad I didn't try digging through the wall to get to it. Okay, down here. Oh, I took everything but this from this from these chests. And it's a spider spawner. Which is a little more difficult to get XP from. Uh, because they like to climb, that is. So I need to dig down. I usually dig down, I think, 19 blocks because that's enough to cause damage without killing. Like, I think it's just enough to not kill. And uh, I'll probably add some lights in here at some point, I think. Some uh, redstone lamps. Just so I can turn the spawner off when I want to. So I can, like, go under and perform maintenance or whatever. So the reason it's a little more difficult with spiders is because I can't really just push them into a hole and let them fall because they'll probably start climbing the walls. So I kind of just have to rely on them spawning in the air and falling down until they almost killed. Until they're almost kill. Alright. 
so now I have the whole floor out. I think I'm going to square it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. I gotta sneeze again, but this one's a dangerous sneeze. Alright, I prevented the sneeze. Alright, uh, so yeah, but guess what? I'm sick again. Who would have thought? Me? Never. I actually get sick all the time. That's why I'm making that joke. Oh, I didn't need to mind that one. I was... Wait. Yo? <laughs> what do you know? I could... <laughs> so I think if, like, I mine this black right here, it'll spill out into water. Actually, it'll go to my tunnel. Very close. I need this. I need this actually. Uh, old deep slate. I don't need as much. That looks cool, right? Actually, gives it some variation with the regular deep slate around it. Oh, I thought I. I thought I heard. Um, I thought I heard uh, amethyst blocks sounds but I think it was actually just shit yeah great I gotta make sure it doesn't destroy any of my torches got that one got those ones come on stop pushing my torches away oh come on oh not in the lava Stupid water, I hate this stuff. Fuck it, I'm saying it, we don't need water. And water is tyrannical rule over our lives! <laughs> the opposite of Hydro Homies. Okay, you know what? I think the creeper just fell into a spot where it coincidentally looks like it destroyed blocks. <laughs> All right, I was like, "Well, oh, that was a weird, that's a weird pillar to just spawn like that." No, I put that there. You put that there, dummy. <laughs> Imagine if, uh, if, like, granite and diorite and andesite would all crack if you tried mining it. So you'd get cracked andesite. Actually, I wouldn't mine that, honestly. Cobbled andesite or cobbled granite would actually make some good variation, I think. Uh, my mouse? Hello? Okay. So now I have two ways into the dungeon that are easier than the path that I originally made. <laughs> That's great. Oh, right. This is a problem. I'm going to put this in my hand so I can quickly block it off if I need to. I'm going to block that off so I don't have to replace torches again. Or worry about more water falling onto... What the fuck? Why do I keep running into you now? You made these little shits way more common. Huh? Where'd you go?
There are more. I can feel it. Oh. I thought that one broke too fast to be... To be one. Stop running, you cowards. Uh, it's right in water, though. All right, that's probably not the last of them because there's always more silverfish, but uh, that's the only problems now. Damn it. That's the current problems dealt with. No, don't spawn. I saw you spinning. Don't spawn. That's not allowed. there. Now it's time to start digging this whole area downward, which will be fun. All right, this is one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put torches in my hand now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right, now I just have to dig stairs all the way down that. Uh, and then I'll know where my bottom is, basically. Basically, that's what I'm trying to do here. I should make lanterns so I can put torches down. I didn't bring the crafting table with me in this journey. So, time to waste some of my wood. Making lanterns so I can hang them from the ceiling and keep light up here so that I don't get spiders dropping in on me. Put some off the side of this too. And I'll keep a little chest around. You know what? I'll do that. What the fuck? What is going on with this goddamn thing? My mouse is so fucked up. Oh, it seems there's a cave beneath me. Which might make... it a little easier, actually. Oops, I didn't make it. As long as each of these is going down, I'll have my floor. Now the ceiling of this is starting to get away from me, so I gotta mine it up. Just keep the shape of this place in shape. Mine it up. Uh, what level am I at? Minus eight. Minus eight! I was... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Problem. I'm just going to do this so that it's easier to count how far down I've gone. 
That's uh, in Elf. Like, your last book got a minus eight. Or no, it was, uh, like, their stock was down minus eight. Minus eight. Walter Hobbs' boss got all mad. Got all mad. I don't know why I think about so many things in the movie. Probably because it is. It probably honestly is my most seen movie ever. Because we watch it like every Christmas. Sometimes multiple times because we got to watch it with other people. <laughs> like, uh... Might watch it with cousins or would have seen it at school a few times too. It's the it's quite a common Christmas movie. Oh fuck off. Did they make these more common actually though? Or did did I just get lucky all the time before never encountering them? Or do they get more common the deeper you are? Except, I need to really figure out how these fuckers operate. There's always a silverfish. Oh, here's one. There's one. Okay. Fuck off. Stop running. Here, draw your friends out. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, friends. This one is probably the smartest of them. <laughs> you know what? Fine, you get to live. You know what? I'm gonna remember where you are. Oh, it's up there. <laughs> Take this one out so I know where that one is. I, I do have data packs that you can silk touch and get those <laughs> infested things. I don't know why I'd want to get them. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought this was one for a second, so I was like, wait, was that faster? Let me test on this one. My phone's trying to tell me something. Oh, it's some useful shit. Oh, it might not actually be useless. It might be, uh... <laughs> It might be Minecraft support, actually. Because I can't log in on my other account with the new launcher. But I can with the old launcher, which is great. My old account that I've had for over 10 years, it's now telling me to play the demo on because I don't own the game. Right. <laughs> Yeah, don't know what's going on with that. It's very annoying. I'm quite peeved at this. Start digging this down here now. Start digging it out. Get it out. Get her out of here. Now I'm just gonna go down layer by layer. It's gonna be fairly boring stream for the next, like, hour. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what's why the new launcher is doing this. I migrated my uh, Mojang account to a Microsoft account. And then the problem started. Well, and the new launcher. Is that a 
squid or was that drowned sound I hadn't heard before? A drowned soin. I used to mine like this all the time. Like I would just like <laughs> find a chunk and just demolish it. I'd empty out an entire mountain <laughs> or something. Uh, actually, I should show that sometime. This mountain that I just completely emptied out. I might be able to show it right now, actually. Hold on, let me see if the world is updated. 1.17. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna update the world then. 1.18. Not yet. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> I already created a backup this stream. Uh, but I actually emptied out an entire mountain. Not just like a part of a mountain. The entire thing. Uh, not, not down to bedrock though. Just so I could build a base inside of it. More easily. <laughs> okay, there's skeletons up there. I just saw. I'm cheating. I'm cheating! Using those exploit strats. So now, is that the th third easier entrance into here than the one that I originally created? Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Down there, that little cave system there. Or cave opening. Mind these for the XP. Oops. Some more was behind there. And that is actually kind of nice. It adds a little bit of texture to the walls. Little bit of texture that I'll never see because uh am I gonna look down this spawner? So I think you have to be like close to it for it to Oh shoot, this is filled up. You have to be like kinda close to it so you can't just wait at the bottom for things to fall down. Alright, cleaned up my in, my in a little bit. But yeah, this was always such a relaxing thing to do for some reason. Probably because I can be like, oh, I'm doing work and I'm not getting distracted by a bunch of random shit. Finally. Yeah, that's always a danger. With ADHD. <laughs> I hurt my brain shaking my face like that. For a night up there. Considering how I can change this to make it look nice, but I'm probably never going to do that. If this was a zombie spawner, I'd probably have them uh, just fall down a hole. And then get like pushed around back up so I can just stay by the spawner and wait for them to spawn in. And then I can just punch them <laughs> while they slowly make their way in. I do have spawn eggs craftable, but it takes a lot. Uh, intentionally so. Because it's kind of... I'm not putting tor torches on the wall. I put them on the floor. Just so things don't spawn in here, but... The wall, you know what? I'll let it be dark all the way down. 
hill near the bottom where I don't want enemies spawning. I left that one there. Should I, maybe I should be doing like this two at a time. Yes, see? This is how I did that one mountain that I was emptying out. We were making a big old castle inside of it. I might have been doing it like this, actually. I'm gonna have so much cobble deep slate for building activities. Okay, tell me, does anybody else see faces all over these walls? I see so many faces right now. Like that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. I just see faces everywhere with Deep Slate. Uh, what's, what's that phenomena called? I do not recall what it is. I remember learning about it in, like, English class for some reason. <laughs> we were doing something with faces, I remember. It was, like, one of, it was, like, one of my very last assignments in school. I was doing stuff with faces. And I was, like, a face model for people, because we were, like, showing emotion with faces, and we had to, like, draw out what... draw a face for each emotion on a piece of paper. I should be a face model. I probably... I wonder if I could actually do, like, motion capture work. <laughs> I could do... I, <laughs> Rockstar should get me for the next L.A. Noir. Cause I can go. Oh, hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I can do really good, <laughs> obvious lying faces. Come on, Rockstar. Come on. Nintendo hire this man. <laughs> I like how. What was that game that was like? Oh, it was, it was Rockstar. That's why I was thinking about it. <laughs> because, because Rockstar hired this man. From <laughs> all the Nintendo hired this man memes of, like, you know, making Mario in, in, a uh, Unreal Engine. Oh, shoot, bats are gonna spawn down here with all the light missing, aren't they? Alright, that's... I think that's the lowest the torches are gonna be, just to make sure that spiders can still spawn. If they even can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna spawn with them there, actually. Torches can go... Well, blocks, I think. So they need to be pretty low. We have 12 blocks of light. Or no, no, that's how much. So they go like 6 blocks. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But there, just to be safe. That's not centered, but <laughs> there's no block in the center there yet. There, that's as low as I'm going to put torches. So hopefully we won't get as many bats spawning. But we'll still get spiders spawning. But uh, uh Rockstar's... Uh, 
GTA the Definitive Edition, GTA Trilogy. <laughs> I remember everybody's like, Nintendo hired this, or uh, Rockstar hired this man. Because it's just, it's such shit. God damn it, why did they release that as a commercial product? I mean, if you were familiar with me on Twitter, you've probably seen me ranting about that game, that collection. There's a spot that needs to be lit up in there. No, the distractions! They've arrived! This is just like, you know, they put- they just put assets into, uh, like, Unreal Engine, and then we're like, it's the definitive game! Also, we removed the original games from sale because we didn't want people modding them and actually having the definitive edition for cheaper. <clears throat> they should have at least made it so that you could download the originals. Like, if they're going to make it, if they're afraid of the original games taking sales away from the definitive edition, they should have at least made it so that you get the originals after you buy the definitive edition. Because, you know, that's like 20 years of mods just gone in an instant. But that's capitalism for you. Alright, can I move, remove these stairs down there? Put that torch in there. Move these stairs that button in a while. I saw lava for a second. Which, it, that's kind of weird how in this, uh, this update, whenever I place blocks... I very often will see through the blocks into the world. It's not happening now, but it was happening a lot in my... In my... Creative world. My redstone world. Fell down. But so did you, you dumbass. Oh, you almost broke my chest plate, you little prick. There's this uh one data pack I really like that I hope gets a new update when 1.18.2 comes out. Called the mining dimension. It was it was a. Uh, I think the creator was like really excited for 1.17, the caves and cliffs update when it was just gonna be 1.17. <laughs> and they instead split into two updates, and now three updates actually. <laughs> I think right, because the warden was supposed to be in 1.17. Anyways, it was really cool. It was a dimension of just like stone so you can mine there were also more dungeons and like more biomes so like a one biome had more dungeons and there was there was one with like glow forests that were really cool it was a dark oak but shaped like nether fungal forests but with but still with the shroom lights in them, too. And, like, animals could spawn in there. And then giant caves with, like, lava lakes. But my favorite thing about it was these massive dungeons that you could find. And I didn't even know about them when I first played. I just wanted the mining dimension because, um... Uh, the world I was using it in was a world painter world that didn't have caves everywhere or didn't have decent caves 
It was mostly just solid rock. So I wanted the mining dimensions so we could actually have like cave systems. And I didn't tell anybody about it in the server, so it was like a really cool event when when it was finally revealed. Because I'd like disappear into the mine and not mine anything and just come back with like tons of iron and gold and stuff. It was that was a really fun server. It also took me like two years to make that <laughs> world painter world. <laughs> I should probably post it on like Planet Minecraft or something. So I spent a lot of time doing that. I started like before the aquatic update came out. I don't have my shears on me. I can't craft more. Whoops, that doesn't go there. Hey, now I wanted to switch to this. I wanted to save the, uh, the this stuff, but it's not going to happen now. I have my crafting table up there. Now it's going to be a little difficult to get up that side. I'm going to light this part up. But yeah, the Mining Dimension dungeons were really cool. And they were massive. And they were a secret to me. I like how the uh, caves themselves were a secret to other people in my server. Ever... So, like... That's what, that's what actually the server where I first discovered the uh, the lodestone lodestone gates data pack because I really wanted the teleporters for us to get around. We could have like different towns around or whatever. Yeah, this chest is starting to get hard to get to. <laughs> Start dropping deep slate off so. I my inventory doesn't get all filled up. Well, mousy, mousy boo, mousy moo. I want to get a new mouse. I've been looking at wireless mice recently. Uh, my cousin has a wireless mouse. I really want more wireless stuff, honestly. Wires are just the bane of my existence re <laughs> lately. So that's why I got wireless headphones was because I hated having my head tethered to something. And then my mice always get like the the wires on the mice always are annoying. They like get caught on something. My keyboard's fine though because I'm not moving it. <laughs> uh, but like so, he says, like, mice, wireless mice nowadays have, like, all basically the same amount of uh, latency as wired mouse mice. They've got it pretty well figured out. So, I need to buy one of them. <laughs> oh, I still haven't bought the wireless card adapter for my new gaming computer. Which, uh, I need to do. I'm just worried it's going to start making my computer crash again. I'm going to be digging through it for no reason. Because it's a mini ITX. And, uh, the last time it had a wireless card in it, it was crashing any time I tried to stream or do anything. Because any time it tried to download any big files from the internet or something, and it turned out to be the wireless card was just fucked up. So now I'm worried that it's the mini PCIe port and not the connector itself. 
And that's the only place I have for expansion for something like a Bluetooth connector, so I can play GTA better. I could take my wire off, but I already explained I hate wires. I'll take... I'll take Bluetooth latency over wired uh, rigidity or whatever <laughs> any time. Oh good, it opens right up to here. Right at the bottom. That's a good convenient spot for the for the XP bit. Alright, start placing torches around here. And that will definitely keep this spot lit up enough. I'll just put another torch in the middle, though, <laughs> to be sure. Oh yeah, wires are just the bane of my existence. The point I'm making. I don't know where this goes. Oh, this might go up to... No, it doesn't go up to my crafting table, I don't think, anymore. But oh, wait, it does. Alright, I'm gonna take you back. And I'm gonna destroy these lights and test out this... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't. I should block it up so that the spiders can't escape first. That's what I ought to do. Yowie. Yowchi. That's a better word. <laughs> Why is that flat under there? I thought I made it under here again. Put this up against the wall. Oh, and I should also... I'm gonna flatten this out. Make it a little more convenient for my sale. Flatten her out, get a nice little path into the mob farm, or spider farm. I wonder if there's a way to make a way to get <laughs> XP from automatically killed mobs because that would be very convenient huh oh. <laughs> so you can like like if they made it like a redstone thing like if something is killed by redstone uh oh I like that helmet and that those pants shouldn't be damaging them But, like, if you made, like, a redstone contraption that killed things so that you could get XP, that'd be cool. And I wonder if you could do it with data pack. <laughs> or maybe a mine. A uh, mod, I mean. I was gonna say a mine. Maybe you can do it with a mine in this craft. A crafted mine. So 
Okay, we've got my Pathfinder over there. And I need to get this ready for them to not be able to escape. So along here, I'll make stairs. What's this hole? Oh. I saw this one too. I'm an expert silverfish hunter already. Ay, ay, ay. Are you arthropodic annoyances finished yet? So I'm making a way for them to not be able to just climb out. I think I'm going to put stairs in this just to make it look a little nicer. Also, it'll help this <laughs> be better. Alright, lapis. I need to get the piss. <laughs> Yellow lapis. <laughs> Call it lapis. It'd be funny, I think. <laughs> yeah. You know, has anybody ever made a joke about how painful it would be to punch a, a rock in this game? Or a tree? I think that'd be a very funny video to make on the YouTube.com. I never really punched a tree, though, did I? Because I had an axe in the starter chest, right? I think so. I do think that's how it went. Alright, I'm gonna make some steers. Just gonna do it on these spots for now. So that if it doesn't work, I don't have to mine up all of my stairs. Just a couple of them. I'm going to put a little peephole out there so I can see where this spot is, I guess. Oh, right. <laughs> I was going to go up here so I could go around over to where my bridge was, but I can't go around that anymore. I'm going to have to take this way through. Uh-oh. Wait, I have an exit right here. Yeah. I'll light that up. Get some of this copper. Let me start lighting this spot up. <laughs> yeah, no, this is looking dangerous. Burr. <laughs> What did that drop? It looked like something gold, but was it a carrot? Did I pick up another carrot? I didn't see what it was. Or...
I'll see what it was. Golden lamb there are his. Okay, start bridging over. Damn it, they all fell down there. Nope, that's too far. <laughs> oh wait, that one spawned on top of the spawner though. So if I if I block that off, then they can spawn in the air and fall down them shelves. It might be too bright along there though. Nope, they still die. All right, I'm gonna make it one block taller then. I'm also gonna, gonna block this off. So that the light from out here doesn't get in there. Right. Uh, there's that spot. Actually, I can just walk over here, can I? <laughs> this would have been an easier path. No, wait. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah, no, this was not an easier way to get over there. Where is that other exit I need here? Right down in here. Oh, it almost reaches <laughs> the hole that I made. Now more should be spawning. <laughs> made the opposite on both sides. Right. Take it, take it up. Place more blocks down. There's a half face right there. Hope that feller is doing okay. I guess. Oh no. <laughs> He's missing his tiny little forehead like this one has. Oh, this isn't center. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that eventually, I think. That's gonna annoy the shit out of me. I'm going to move this torch around so that I can still keep stuff from spawning in here. Nope. That does not keep stuff from spawning there. Uh, where did that go? There it is. There we go. Now, now it does, and then this one will be light black seven village, actually. Yeah. One block closer. It won't it won't prevent spiders from spawning in here, but it... Damn it, it's still too high. Uh, 
All right, I'm thinking of ways I could change this now, actually. Though it wouldn't work 100% of the time. It's a difficult one. I was thinking that if you... Fuck off, bat. God, you so fucking annoying. Uh, if you... I was thinking of a way to, like, filter them so that they'd hit ground as they fell down and then would be, like, knocked off of a little platform into water and then be dropped up to you. That's gonna be not easy to make. And there's still a chance that they'd miss the platform and just fall into the water. Is there anything that spiders can't climb on? Because if there is, then that would be convenient. Convenient for the dropper. I might pull out my phone and look it up. Actually, no. My phone needs to be charged. I should look it up on the computer. Which has a very tiny mouse pad, which two mice share. <laughs> That's why I spin around every now and then. Alright, it's not dead. Black spiders can't climb. Soul sand. So if I made soul sand walls, then I could make a dropper for them. So there we go. Now I found out what to do in the in the future with this dropper. Make them fall down into a soul sand pillar. Take the damage. Not soul sand pillar. Oh wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tough at the beginning. At the beginning? What? It's just going to be a little bit tough for them to see me and walk over. <laughs> I'm going to make another entrance here. Oh my god. Why did they take more than one hit from a sword? Seems like anything should be able to kill those fuckers. <laughs> They're tiny little insects. Got another dang ass head. Ugh, disgusting. Look at this monster. Yucky. Is there a texture pack that changes uh, silverfish into mice? That'd be that'd be a colony. I, I might like that one. I <laughs> saw another one poof somewhere. Poof into something. So I noticed that after I took damage from one of them, the others started attacking me. So do they only attack when they think that they have uh, a chance to kill whatever they're attacking? I thought it would, they would come to help 
their friends as they are being attacked. But nope. Nope. Oh wait, that's not enough. <laughs> Alright. I don't know how many steps I need here. Hoopity toop, hoopity scoop. Not that. Alright, now I just gotta wait for a bunch of them to spawn. But do I really want to do that? Yes, yeah, since it's a slight problem. Alright, I should monitor them and make sure they can't, like, crawl up the walls. Even though I'm pretty sure they can't. Yeah, okay. I took a huge sip of water there because my throat is super dry. Two waters in this morning. I'm almost done with one of them, at least. Yeah. That's the thing. I've been drinking just tons of water. Ooh, I should put chains holding up the... Holding up the spawner. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. Yeah, this is going to take forever. I think I'm just going to go back to mining Lapis. Alright, I'm going to kill the ones that spawn, though. Mob spawners. Or, uh, XP farm's not super great for, <laughs> for streaming. You know, just, wow, I'm going to watch these spiders fall, and then I'm going to kill them. What a brilliant strategy will I employ in next in the next spider attack? Yep, I'm just punching him with my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna use cobbled deep sleep for my stairs in the building I'm creating. Probably in the buildings too that I'm creating. Yeah. I'm gonna use a lot of places, let's be real here. Let's be honest. Honest? Laipis. Oi. Having so much stuff in the ceiling is kind of annoying here. I need to get to level 30 so I can get good enchantments, finally. I think in Bedrock, it would be, like, different items can change what enchantments you get. Like, two iron pickaxes would have two different sets of enchantments for them. But I think in Java, it's like, you put a a diamond pickaxe in, it'll give you the same thing no matter which one you put. Alright, let me see. Of course it's a silver fish. <laughs> of course! Did I get XP from that silver fish falling to its death? If it did even fall to its death. How much health do those things have? Not a lot, because it takes like two swipes of an <laughs> iron sword to kill them. They mostly just overwhelm you. 
And that's how they usually get the upper hand. The upper hand in the battle. What is that? What is that dripping down from? Is there a river there? Maybe the ocean? No, not along the wall. And sword's doing a little bad. Iron chest blade's doing a little worse. I haven't made a shield yet. I don't really use shields too often in this, in this game. For some reason. XP! Give me the XP! I need some eats. Eat. I got the perfect thing ready. I can make it all your starter shakes. Yes, yes. Can I run some for me, please? I don't have the villager to make an iron sword or a diamond sword. Oh shit, I was on one torch. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I heard a, a spider suffocate, though, I think. Make sure that doesn't break while I'm fighting stuff. That'll be a little bit of an inconvenience. Oh, it was burned alive. It turns out. I'm trying to eat the spider eyes. That's why I'm not placing torches. So, hey, what the heck? I thought I timed up well. I feel like there's, a, there's gravel up there at the last second. I misplaced that one black. <gasps> Wait, I already found one of those, right? <laughs> because I had to craft the thing. Still, the calcite. Skeleton must have fallen to lava too. Oh sure, now none of the creepers are exploding. I need to go back to the surface. Look, Gordon, we've made it black into back mesa. I don't think I can mine any more of those. Unless I do this. Now I have all the XP in the world! Like that tiny bit of XP on my bar just like lighting up. I like the animated uh, XP bar more than Vanilla Tweak's default rainbow XP. Which is just a static image that slowly unveils itself. Because then you can never see all the colors because you'll be changing colors all the time.
ピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピリピ Encounter a Jedi, and then her pupil is Kanan from Star Wars Rebels. And then let's put Hera from Star Wars Rebels in an episode of The Bad Batch. It's like, you know, the likelihood of me, like, encountering somebody I know in, <laughs> in the small city that I live in is already tiny. So why the hell are all these people meeting up in this gigantic universe of multiple planets in a giant war? Why the hell does everybody know each other in these goddamn shows? To make polished can. I'm gonna do that just so I have room for these bones. Oh right, it's produces the exact amount. <laughs> it doesn't make four into one. It makes one into one. <laughs> Polish deep slate is cool though. And I have plenty, so I'm definitely gonna use it whenever the time comes. Is this the main? Oh, yeah, this is where I got, like, turned around first. It's that waterfall I was looking at earlier. But it's so annoying. Why does C-3PO have to be the droid that Anakin made? Why can't it just be a random-ass droid? Why doesn't Darth Vader ever recognize... C-3PO. If that's the case, too. It just don't make no goddamn sense. Because droids to Anakin were always, like, more than just droids. Actually, droids are kind of weird, because they're basically... They basically have human personalities, but they're made to be slaves and are treated very poorly. Oh, I can make this lapis lazuli. No, I can't. Wait, yes, I can, because I have the crafting table. I can make this into more blocks. Oh, no, I can't, because I'll be left like that. But it, it does cut down on that a lot, so now I can pick up these bones. Bone saw is ready. And then one more bone over here. Because bones are useful, you can make a bone meal out of them. Why can't you use bones as sticks? Make bone handled tools. That. <laughs> I wonder if, like, they considered that mojang, but they were just like, you know what? That's gonna. That's a little. That's a little strange to be using people's bones in your weapons in this children's game. And also the handles wouldn't match that way. Alright. I should start heading back. 
because I need to go and find that thing again. That looks like <laughs> like a structure of some kind. It doesn't even look natural there. Oh my god, a lot of diamonds. I'm gonna wait till I have fortune to mine these ones. I am gonna check it out. Check out how big this cluster is. Because it looks pretty dang old massive. Is this like two of them together? Alright, I need to leave this place. Things are spawning in all around me. <laughs> I don't want to regain all of my levels again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I hate skeletons. Why does every skeleton have to spawn with the bow, honestly, though? Why can't it be like some of them spawn with... Oh my god, another villager. Some of them spawn with... Like, nothing or axes or... You know, why, do, why can't there be some variety in what skeletons are holding? I know why zombies can't have bows. But skeletons, you know what... Don't make no sense to me. Alright. I want to trap you in a boat. First, I need to just trap you somewhere. Fuck off, creeper! I'm trying to do something here. Do something. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure no one else can fall in there. I guess except a spider, but <laughs> no creepers at the very least. That would be a pretty bad situation. Uh, 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 uh. I also don't want this boat going into a wall and suffocating the villager. Just put boat in our hand. <laughs> it's on his head. <laughs> what? What? Now, how does this happen? Oh, well, there. Now he's in there. And he's in a corner. I need to get away from you now. At least we're both safe in here. <laughs> Relatively. <laughs> I thought he was going to turn his head all the way around. Oh, where's my mutton? Did I eat all that already? Oh, shit. I really need to get out of here. Ooh, I really don't want to die and lose all my levels. Oh, not the goddamn spider eye. There. Now he's in a boat. He should not despawn now. 
and light it up around him because creepers scare me in this situation. Fuck off! God damn it, zombie! Holy shit, you almost fucking killed me! Oh my god! 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 I should have been paying better attention to my food situation. I'm just gonna eat this. So I can make sure I can get some health back. Is this the one I found earlier? It is. Smooth basalt. I don't need that as much as I want <laughs> these other materials. I'm, I'm going to use this block a lot, actually, in my build, so I want to find a couple. Actually, you know what? That's actually a problem why this is... Problem. What? That's a problem? Why this is a problem? Because I would have actually rather found a new geode instead of this one that I've already found. Just so I can have more blocks to build with. God, that was a very frightening situation. hell is happening? <laughs> mm, yummy! Yummy rotten flesh! Oh, my throat is dry again. Ooh, these stairs are gonna be a problem. Aren't they? It's gonna be scary to me today now. Right, I'm not going to drink till I get home. I'm not I'm going to make sure I'm safe. This gives no, it doesn't give experience. But it is cookable which gives experience. Jeez, why did they make it drop two to five per copper vein or copper ore? And then they make them have so many in a vein. What if you could lay down gunpowder like uh like redstone and light it and just have a trail of fire going somewhere? That'd be cool. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be pretty sick, Lars. Alright, these are still kind of random chests right now, but they'll eventually 
It'd be good. They'll eventually have labels and purposes. I'll keep this so I can make leather. Drinky sip time. All right. That didn't give enough experience. Experience. Lord Vader, remo release him immediately. As you wish. Damn, I don't have... Owl. So I need to make more Owl. Got some red vine. Got the red vine. All right, grab as much raw materials as I can. Just gotta check in each of these chests. Make sure I got some. Some to smelt. All right, I was gonna turn these into blast furnaces. Got an iron right there for that. Need my cobblestone though. Make some more furnace. So how many can I put there? Five and two. It's like I only make two blast furnaces right now. I remember when shift clicking stuff when you're trying to craft, it would also bring everything that it could possibly craft into your inventory. So I would have just made all of these into slabs too, if, if that was still in effect. All right, how many have you done so far? That's enough for one of these. Gonna need some more. Grab some more. Alright. There's one complete. And just to make sure that this doesn't run out, I'm gonna put those two extras in there. Not two extras, but two reserves. Can you turn redstone blocks back into regular redstone dust? I'm not sure if you can. That's concerning me. Oh, do I have raw stuff in here? I do, I do. Uh, is it morning now? No, it's turning night.
All right, breeding will give me experience, and then murdering after I breed things will give me experience. This is this is all just a fight to get up to level thirty. And I didn't get any coal, so I can't sell anything to either of them. Oh, sleep. Sleep. Eat. And shit. All right. I from an epic journey to slaughter chickens and sheep. Can I bring the seeds that I had earlier into my base chest? I think I might have done that instead of putting it in the farmer's chest. Not sure why I have beets. <laughs> I don't think I can even trade anything for them. They're really kind of useless. <laughs> These beets by Dr. Dre. Like, you can't. I don't think you can even use them for like breeding or anything. <laughs> Maybe I should make a data pack that changes carrot on a stick into beet on a stick. Just <laughs> just to get that. Although it still wouldn't make sense because you couldn't feed it to pigs to breed. And I don't know how to change that. Just to give beets some kind of use. I feel like maybe it would make sense if... If, like, pigs or something bred with them. That got me a bit of experience. Not enough to get it even to level 28, though. Alright, I should slaughter some chickens, though. You know what? They're not even my real friends. They just want me for my food. See how they turn away as soon as I... Take out the shears. They'd be selfish. I think that one just grew at this wool back. Huh? Come on, it's the babies that are eating. Two more levels to go. Whoopee. <laughs> In like old versions of Minecraft, you weren't able to... Sheep weren't able to grow their wool back. <laughs> Alright, you're trapped in that entrance, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna pop you real quick. Grab more wheat from over here. I think I'm not going to kill them since they're very useful in getting... Getting seeds. Not seeds. Getting emeralds. So I can trade. I 
just made sure I had an even number so I could properly breed the amount that I want. Okay, I think that's as many as I could get. I should make their cage bigger. <laughs> Not right to treat these animals humanely yet. I need to more time setting up my base. <laughs> For now, they're just gonna be crammed into a tiny little spot. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave more carrots there. And more potatoes just so I have the proper amount for. <clears throat> uh, beetroot seeds in there. Poisonous potato, I guess. What are those used for? Are poisonous potatoes used in brewing at all? Used to be able to, like, trick people by renaming uh, poisonous potatoes to something else. Maybe you'd just name it potato, or maybe you'd name it like a gift to my friend. So they wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be like, oh, why is this potato font so weird? Ooh! That gave a lot. Alright, well, there's the strat. Five might cover that. Put six in. And I'll start ch smokering up some stuff. <laughs> Smoke it up. And I can't believe Eric Andre is doing NFT stuff now. Some NFT bullshit. NFT bullshit, dude. I just cannot believe it. Like, it seemed, NFT seemed like something that he would make fun of. Instead, he just embraces it completely. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start making chess again. I think this is the only jungle wood I'm going to have for a while, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should save it. For a special occasion. For a very special occasion. There we go. That might be enough chest for the vault for now. Maybe. You never know. Can you just... Okay, you can. Alright, now I might get to organizing. some netherite scrap. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. 
Oh, this is no longer... It's no longer good. It's no longer giving me a discount. Damn you. I'll trade these for some emeralds. That'll give me some XP. Some XP. Put the wall in there, I take the wall on out. Except I lied, I didn't take the wall out at all. Yeah! Level 30, baby! Except I need to be higher <laughs> because... You know what? There is a possibility. I'm going to take these out. Hold on, I need to... Right, I forgot. <laughs> well, I'll check on my other computer. I need to see if I can do this. Sleepy time. Almost forgot. I would have been crucified in the comment section. Smithy. Okay, good. I was correct. What do you know? What do I know? Are you kidding me? Still didn't give me what I want, which is fortune. Mm, that stinks. I want to make a gold pickaxe because I don't think that can mine ancient debris. And I need netherite tool to upgrade it. Alright, so this is going to be copper in there. Here will be iron. I'll hold that on me. Miscellaneous blocks can be there. Uh, what should this be? This could be farming. Or just plants. Just general plants. Food I'll keep in my house. Huh. Shoot. <laughs> I made the blend the landings like this, so now it's do I want to mine out all these blocks? Or do I want what do I want how do I want to make the landings now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh building blocks here. Like crafted materials. I don't have signs yet, so I'm just going to have to go off memory. Which, uh, you know what? That's not a great thing to go off of with me. I'm just going to put four in there for now. All right, I need to go ham on some trees. So I'm starting to run out of fuel. Just gonna run these axes down, these two at least. Starting with the stone axe. Mm. 
I can't see! I can finally take down this floating tree that a creeper kindly left me. I remember seeing a video of uh, someone in like the woods and they found a tree that was suspended off the ground. And they were like, alright, which one of you didn't cut the tree down all the way? I oh, suppose it would be cutting the tree up. It was on the Minecraft subreddit. Okay, good. That's all of them. All of them in there. Alright. <laughs> I'm so used to playing on the server where we don't have this data pack because it's a high pixel. SMP thing. Whoopsie daisy. Dang, that's annoying. I hate that. I wish that it would be like you hold the button down and then it will and then it will start stripping logs. Like you have to hold it down for a second or something, so you can't just it's so annoying when you're, like, walking into your house and you have a wooden frame around your door. Oops. Oh, that's a cow. That's a cow. Cows should be able to walk on snow because they're made of leather. <laughs> since leather... Since leather armor can let you walk on the powdered snow. I'm going fucking ham on these trees. I'm going goddamn insane. Uh, the unobtrusive brain, so wonderful. Also, what's nice with making snow unobtrusive is uh, video compression on, say, Twitch or YouTube.com slash Pinkspariah. Except YouTube URLs don't work like that. <laughs> Just Twitches. See? Ain't that so much nicer on your eyes? Same with the <laughs> smooth text. I got the smooth text because I remember like a while ago I was actually like... I don't know, something was with my eyes and it just... I hated to look at the text of the game. Until this data pack came... or not data pack, resource pack came along. Got data packs on the brain. I kind of wish that snow would be like heavier when it's a thunderstorm instead of just always having the same level of snow. Like, if this was how it was when it's just raining. And this too, like, why not have rain and snow be heavier during thunderstorms? So that way, it's a little bit less annoying and you can at least sleep through the heavy rain that's very loud. I wish there was a way to, like, convert biomes into other biomes. Like, if you wanted to build a base somewhere, but, like, one part of it is snowy, I wish you could just be like, you know what? No snow here, please. I guess the best way to do that would just be put glass way up in the sky. <laughs> it's 
that snow only goes to the glass or glass panes, I guess. So that snow can't accumulate on top of it. Unless it's all the way at the world border. Or the uh the world ceiling. If it's there, does that mean that no snow can come from above? Sheesh. You know what? I'm gonna feed you first. <laughs> that way you're all nice and fat! You always pick up the wheat before you pick up the seeds. Don't you think it's strange? I don't need to get this done quick, quick lack. Don't want a repeat of last time. Well, there are so many chickens. I think I've definitely remade my numbers that I previously had. They took all of my seeds almost. Jeez, they almost pushed me so that I... I might be able to just kill the adults and let the children live on. How do some of them not, or do I get extra feathers? Is that it? I was gonna say, how do some of the. Yeah, I don't think that one dropped a uh, chicken breast. <laughs> how do some of them not do that, though? I'm gonna light this shit up. Having monsters around your base is annoying. This one server that I set up for my friends, I put, like, I found where the spawn chunk was. Because it was, like, way far away from my base. And I just had never gone there since I started the world. So I made, like, a nice little path going all the way from there over to where my house was. And I put horses out and all this stuff. Those fuckers still got lost. <laughs> Oh, I gave them a full set of iron tools and armor to start off, too. Actually, I think the reason it was difficult for them was because they were in uh, the spawn protection area, which I hadn't changed back to zero. So they couldn't take the horses off the leads. Good, they stack. Oh, I've got eggs here. Oh, did you hear about Pink Mariah? She got eggs. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a new disease. You, you got eggs? Oh, wait, you know what? No, eggs are disgusting actually because it could be like. You know, an insect of some kind. That is kind. Of, that is gross. I'm just gonna sweep these out like uh, lice eggs would be disgusting. I think I found like spider egg sack inside of uh, one of our snow goggles that we had. 
which was very nice to find. Very good. I loved it so much. I think we just threw those away. Cause fuck that shit. They were a decent pair too. How my throat feels right now. Actually, my dad is like... He was really, really sick last Saturday. They was, uh... He took a test and was positive with COVID on Sunday. And then Wednesday, he went back to work. Still sick, too. What am I going to do about it, though? Oh, and then and then he's like, why aren't you working? I think you're just making excuses. And I'm like, you got me sick, you idiot. <laughs> God damn it, what are you thinking? I work in the food industry sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Alright, we're gonna put this stuff away. Yeah, it's a, it's a sucky situation. I guess this will be logs, the log chest. I'll make an extra chest just for that one. Copper down here. Iron down here. Gold up there. Alright, I was going to keep this. There, I'll split it. Now it's divisible by three. Jeez, more eggs. All right. Animal. Animal products, I guess. Just making a vault. Not a very secure vault, though. <laughs> redstone. I could make a redstone chest, too. I usually make... I usually collect a lot of redstone. I don't really usually make too many redstone things in survival. I like doing it in creative, though. Do, 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 do. I'm going to consolidate these together. Uh, I'm going to go back and get some more experience after I cut down these trees because I need charcoal, but I also need experience. And I can breed some more animals, get more experience that way. I desperately need some charcoal. But I feel closer now to getting the enchantment I want. Which would be really nice to finally get that. Uh, great. Oh, there's one. Wow, this tree only really drops it one... Only dropped one sapling. 
That's a risky run with trees. They don't always give you enough to build back from. They usually do though. You're probably you're probably gonna be safe. You know, technically technically Endermen are capable of defeating the Ender Dragon, you know? It's probably not gonna happen though. Wish you could get some experience from chopping these trees down, am I right, gamers? I might have to stop talking so much because my throat is getting really bad. It's really fighting me. It's really making me, making me, give me a real tough battle, you know. It's like fighting, fighting a skeleton in a wide open mine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? These chickens are got all the way out here. You know, I wonder if it's possible that. Some of the chickens in the in the pen right over there are actually still ones from the original batch, the ones that I first started breeding. I wonder if that's possible. I mean, it's possible. There's not going to be any way to tell though, <laughs> unless you can like look at the age of mobs. Oh, it's nighttime almost. Gonna yeah, chop that one down and then head over. Head over to the little guys over there. Give them some good old wheat. Here, I'm gonna chop this tree down real quick. I think it has exactly four blocks. See, that tree didn't drop any saplings. Which is odd. So strange. I should grab my shears. <laughs> Eventually, these are probably going to start dying because of mob stacking. Also, these, these sheep are really tanking my FPS over here. Hey, why can't I chop your wool off? There might be too many. Are there, like, auto shears in the create mod? Shapey poo. What? How did that one open? All right. Watch out for creepers. You know, instead of just going inside, fuck it. I'm gonna risk it. Out of the way, sheepisins. Out of the way, sheeple. Bop, 
frames of the operation coming through. Shambo. Shambi. Remember when he used to feed cookies to parrots in Minecraft? And then they made it and killed parrots instead because that's how real life works. Imagine... Imagine someone not knowing that and finding the exact parrot they like after, like, searching for, like, 20 hours and knowing that, 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 uh, cookies used to tame parrots and then just immediately killing the parrot that you want. That'd be an epic prank on Mojang's part. Alright, I think that's enough for now. I'm gonna put some stuff back. I'm gonna trade some wool in. Alright, I think I've probably just gotta like I've gotta upgrade something. To hopefully get the enchantment I'm looking for, and hopefully, it, like, if I, if I do, like, efficiency, whatever, efficiency four, hopefully this could maybe give me, give me a fortune with it. Damn it, unbreaking. Now we gotta get those levels back. So let me see. Breaking. Breaking. And breaking. Unbreaking. Are you fucking with me right now? Are you being real funny? Real, real, real jokester, huh? I'm gonna just try a few. All right, no, I don't think that's gonna get me anything. But it changes, it refreshes, doesn't it? Efficiency again. Oops, I already saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the different type of pickaxes are different, right? Fortune 1. Fortune 1. Could be my best chance right now. I don't know. I really, I really want Fortune 3, you know. Damn it. Alright, I'll get Fortune 1 in case my enchantments run out. Alright. Efficiency, damn you. Damn you. <laughs> One more check on the wooden pickaxe. Damn you. I need this one. I want to put that one back. All right, I'm at least going to get this stone pickaxe upgraded. My utilities room is right over here. Uh, what the hell? Damn it. Uh, what the hell? 
<laughs> Data pack list. Right. What? Why not? What's wrong? Wait, what? Alright, well, I gotta get that fixed then. I don't know why Smithy Warbin Jaegerman Jensen isn't working. That really stinks. You know what? This, this stream has been going on for two and a half hours. I think I'm gonna take a break, let my throat rest a bit, and try and get Smithy Warbin Jaegerman Jensen pack <laughs> fixed. Woodfell is still fixed. It still works. Oh, uh, why? 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 All right, well. Bye, everybody. Oh, right, YouTube outro stuff. Uh, Yeah, you know, subscribe and all that. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, Like and video. Okay, goodbye.